Hey you guys, so it's time for another hair video and this time it is a comparison video. I used to do these quite often, um, well I shouldn't say quite often, I have a couple of these type of videos where I compare two very similar hair products just to see how they do on my hair. So this one is going to be a leave-in comparison. We have the Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. You see that this is an oldie but goodie. And then we have the African Pride Moisture Miracle Coconut Oil and Baboil Baobab, I'm sorry, Baobab Oil Hydrate and Strengthen Leave-In condi Conditioner. So I've been using both of these products for a while, the Cantu more so than the African Pride product. I do have official reviews on both of these products. So you guys, what we're going to do is just an old school uh, product review, but I'm gonna go ahead and read some ingredients and just to give you an idea of the consistency of both of these products, okay? So for the Cantu, I'm gonna use on this side and then for the African Pride on this side, okay? Um, Cantu is a great product in my opinion. I do feel like that they changed their um, formula. Well, it says it right here, baby. It says new improved formula. The Cantu product has no alcohol and it has no silicone, no cones. Um, the reason why I feel like it has changed its product, the formula I feel like it changed a while back and it sometimes it could leave a bit of a residue. So you have to really work it in your hair, especially if you are using it for a wash and go, which I've done several times. I do like that this product is um, thick, but you can definitely um, smooth it out. This is the consistency. It's like a thick yogurt. Do you see that? Very, very creamy no really no real fragrance to it you know it has a light product fragrance but nothing too heavy if that makes sense and i do like that it comes in a fairly large size container here this is 16 ounces next up we have the african pride now the african pride um same thing it has no parabens no mineral oil um no petroleum okay and so i believe this is 16 ounces too if not 18 ounces let me see it's actually 15 ounces all right, so the consistency is that of, again, of a light, of a yogurt, I should say, excuse me, but it's very light. The difference, in my opinion, as far as the consistency, I find that this product is more creamier. Um, the Cantu has a little bit of chunkiness. It's not consistent, if that makes sense. This right here is a consistency and very smooth product, okay? Now, if I were to give my initial thoughts on which one is going to win this battle of the leaving conditioners i don't know you guys i'm going to have to say it may be the african pride it, it may just be the african pride so let me just go ahead this today is wash day i'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair i like to apply my conditioners not when it's soaking wet but damp if that makes sense so we'll see how this turns out y'all okay all right, you guys, so I'm starting with the African Pride. I like to section my hair off. This is a very creamy product. I'm working it in from the uh, root all the way down the hair shaft. I also like to seal in the product with almond oil. It get a little splashy, but I use just a little bit of oil to seal in the actual leaving. Yeah, look at that splash. But anyway, just a little bit of oil to seal in the product. And then I'm gonna go ahead and twist my hair in medium sized twist, okay? <music> So this is the Cantu side. Um, yet again, I'm using a little bit of product and I'm working it in. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the consistency. And so it is a little bit chunkier. Also with the Cantu side, I found that it sits on top of my hair. So I really had to work the product in more so than the African Pride side. Um, but yet again, just like the other side, I'm going to seal it in with some hair oil. Yeah, it's going to splash everywhere, but that's how I like to seal in the moisture. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and just twist my hair in medium sized twists. <laughs>
right, you guys, it has been about an hour since I applied the leave-in conditioners. Let's put those two down. I didn't really put any in the back because I'm gonna be blowing up my hair and I don't like to use leave-in conditioners a lot, at least when I blow up my hair. All right, you guys, let me fill it. Um, This side with the African Pride has, it feels a little more residue is on it, if that makes sense. Um, this side, not so much. They both feel soft. I'm trying to look in the mirror behind me, you guys. I should probably get my other mirror, but they both feel pretty soft and okay. So let's take down the African Pride. You better do good. You <laughs> Let's take down the African Pride side. I really want to wait until it's completely dry, but for now, interesting. Oh, look at that juiciness. It feels really, really good. And now let's take down this side that has the Cantu. Huh. Do you see that? Do you see this? I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. Now this is kind of falling, but look at that. You can see this is kind of falling, but even though I feel a buildup of some sort on this, not even a buildup, there's like a, a, a greasiness, but not really compared to this. I'm gonna have to say that I like the overall feeling of my hair with the African Pride as opposed to this. This right here feels like, the Cantu feels like I'm gonna have to reapply some more leave-in conditioner fairly soon, whereas the African Pride, I feel like I can stretch it longer if that makes sense. Yeah, you could even look at the difference. Cantu, African Pride. All right, you guys, so I was right. My assumption was correct. Thank you, girl. You did good. So <laughs> that is it for this video. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.